Good morning, everyone. Happy 4th of July. Good morning. Happy 4th. Today, we're coming to you and let you know what's going on here at Park Terrace on this beautiful 4th of July. Uh, this morning, we have our exercise class, uh, the strength and weights. You can either watch on your TV or you can join me in the activity room for that. At 12 p.m., we have a documentary about Independence Day. At 1 p.m., we'll be playing cornhole in the activity room, so come join us for that. 1.45, we have our Saddleback Church uh, message with Rick Warren. At 3 p.m., we have a movie, a John Wayne movie called McLintock. Uh, That's a good one. Is that a good one? That's a good one. I actually haven't seen it, but all John, I think John Wayne's great. It's one of my favorites. Oh, there we go. You have to watch it 3 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m., we have an afternoon exercise class on your TV. Uh, 6.30 p.m., we have some patriotic music playing. Um, on your TVs, and then tonight we have a fireworks spectacular at 7.30 on your television, so be sure to watch that. That is all we have going on here today, and now I'm going to turn it over to Gino. I'm going to start with the weather. It's going to be 88 degrees today and 90 tomorrow, so if you're going to be outside at all, be sure to drink some water and limit your time outside because the index right now is super high for sunburn. You can get dehydrated really quick. So pay attention to what's going on, take your time outside, get some vitamin K from the sun while you're soaking some rays, drink plenty of water and limit your time outside and come in. Um, I also wanna talk a little bit about the letter that I had sent out today. For those of you that are on email, it came out through the email and we also did a hard copy to everyone's door. We are still now on track to reopen the common areas of the community on Monday, July 6th. Um, and we will have a lot of things open and available with more activities. We will still continue with the in-house TV channel with programming there. What we will not have available is our dining. We have yet to come up with a solution to keep you safe while dining since you cannot wear a mask and eat at the same time. Um, the regulations have just come out. There's some new ones and I will be sending everybody an email and hard copy of how that impacts us through the state of California, probably on Tuesday. It has to do with testing uh, people and um, for people who are leaving the community and coming back and how we're gonna be handling that. So I will be updating you on that next week. In the meantime, we will have everything ready to go for Monday for moving around through the common areas of the community and trying to get some semblance of normal back. We will be even more strict about who can come in the community since all of you will be out and about throughout the community. We have to be very special, extra safe on who's coming in and making sure they're showing no symptoms um, or having any kind of a temperature um, for all of the obvious reasons. So uh, we're, all, we're very excited about getting people back out and about throughout the community and giving the opportunity to socialize wearing a mask social distancing and washing your hands are still going to be a priority since it's going to be opening up everybody for a an opportunity to get the virus so we really want to be careful with that and still allow you to uh, start getting back to some kind of normalcy um i think that's all i had allison on that same note too we're going to be doing some more activities so since monday we're kind of start opening up on tuesday we're going to start doing bingo again there is no sign-up sheet this time for bingo. You're just going to show up to the activity room at 1.30 on Tuesday and on Thursday, but just choose to play one day a week. If you play Tuesday, that means you can't play Thursday. So maybe decide if you want to play on a specific day, we can get you in and play bingo. So 1.30, Tuesday, Thursday, Carolyn and I will be leading. All resident-led activities are not happening. We're just going to have the wellness team be leading activities for the time being. Um, and as always, we'll take temperatures um, during every activity, make sure you're all spaced out and distanced. Um, and we're excited to start doing some more activities. We miss seeing all of you. So it's going to be fun to have everybody down and hanging out together again. So, yeah, we're really excited. We can't wait to see you all again, um, get you out of your apartments a little bit more. But just know that we're going to start doing things in an effort to try to keep you as safe as possible so we can come out and enjoy each other and still be safe. That's right. Well, with that, we want to wish you again a happy 4th of July this afternoon. Bob and I are going to be coming around with a special treat. 
So uh, be re ready for that this afternoon. So we will see you later. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th, everyone. Bye. Bye.